guys out. It was hard. You know, we had to fight and scratch for any sort of little bit of news that we could get on TV or in the newspaper or in the print. But all of that is changing with the MLS coming to town. So I don't need to guarantee a championship for the MLS team in three years. I'm hoping whoever takes that job, they accomplish that feat. But you guys are all out here for a reason. You're out here because, yes, the Sounders, the 08 version of the Sounders is going to morph themselves. Although it's a different entity, they're going to have some of the players go up with them. It's going to be new, it's going to be exciting, so I think there's a ton of interest. I am a born and raised Seattle soccer guy. There is a lot of conversation out in the community about MLS coming. There's also a lot of conversation about the Sounders and who's on the Sounders roster this year, who might make the Sounders FC roster next year. So the whole Seattle soccer scene is just filled with a bunch of interesting news facts and, and trivia. So we did accomplish a lot of great things in six years. We won two championships. We did make it to the final. I asked the question, how did we do that? Well, it starts with the guy who's setting up the cones over there, uh, Jimmy Gabriel, and the guys on my staff. Jimmy has been a Seattle soccer legend uh, since the original Sounders came to be. He has been a big part of my development as a, as a coach. He has helped me tremendously. Darren Sawatsky is young, full of energy. He helps a great deal. Tom Dutra, my goalkeeper coach, who is, in my opinion, I mean, Chris Islander is great. We all know starting goalkeeper Chris Islander should have been the goalkeeper of the year last year. But uh, Tom Dutra had a lot to do with that. And then finally, Bernardo Ruiz, who's been with me since 2002. That rounds out the staff, and that, on the coaching side, is how we've had a lot of success. I do need to talk about Adrian for a little bit. He's, you know, hopping across continents. He was in Argentina watching soccer. He's in England now. He's going to Africa to scout players. Adrian also deserves a lot of credit as far as building the team. He has provided me with the players, uh, so he deserves a lot of credit. And finally, the players themselves. We've had some decent players come through the Sounder organization. Some of the most notable names have been recently Michael Galindo, who's now a star for Chivas USA. Brian Ching, that first year when we had Brian. We all knew he was destined for bigger and better things. He's been part of the national team pool for many years. Helped Houston win two championships. Smaller names, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 